All right, guys, welcome to the slab portion of the barn project. This is my area of expertise. Unlike any of this, I we had no idea what we were doing, but concrete's what I do for a living. So these videos are gonna be much more in depth because I can actually explain what I'm doing. Uh, we got the roof steel on last night. Sorry, we didn't do too much videoing. Uh, a little sketchy up on the roof and it just went so fast. Honestly, there wasn't much to video. Um, but we're gonna start with plumbing. So what we have to do is dig the trenches in and lay the pipe, pressure test it and get it approved after it's inspected. Hopefully it's approved the first time. And then we can start compacting the base, putting foam down and we're doing in-floor heat in the barn. So we need to lay all the pipes, which is going to be a lot of pipe in this big barn. But we have a lot of stuff in the barn, as you can see. So we're gonna get that cleared out and uh, see you guys when it's all cleaned up. First step for slab prep, we built the barn a little high, that way we could have room to shed the water on the outside. We brought in about a foot of fill over in this corner and kind of all around built it up with this really good gravel that's locked down. We still have a little bit more to go before we put the foam down. Next step, we dug rat walls all the way around by hand. Well, on the outside we dug with the machine, but this underneath this base we put down is rock hard clay. So we had to pickaxe all along here in between each post all 198 feet and we actually put down this two inch foam tried to get it flush with the inside of the barn and that's going to give us an r10 and we cut those four by eight sheets in half so we actually have an r10 two feet down around the entire perimeter of the wall and that way once the concrete's poured we'll be able to have an insulated shell wrapping all the way around so we don't lose any of our heat from our in-floor heat to the outside next step is plumbing uh, i'm a concrete guy not a plumber so I found some really good resources on hammerpedia.com. I'll leave a link below. And the, that guy, whoever runs that site, has a ton of diagrams on how to plumb a bathroom. So I downloaded, uh, I'll show you the picture of our diagram. Over in this corner of the barn is where the bathroom is gonna be. You're gonna walk in, and right here will be a door walking into the bathroom. And we got some uh, eye joists over there that we're actually gonna do for the ceiling so that it's strong, we can use the top for storage. To maximize this room because it's already filling up we can never build a big enough barn so we're going to get started on the uh, plumbing trenches i don't have my laser with me today we knocked out a spot in the rat wall that way we can have our four inch pipe going out to our septic tanks um, just kind of making this up as we go along as uh, in our township you're allowed to do your own plumbing as a homeowner so we got our permit filed today <laughs> and uh, we're gonna get this barn plumbing in so we can get the floor in. Alrighty, we have a pretty standard bathroom layout. It's gonna be tub, vanity, and then the toilet. That way the toilet's the last one in the drain line in the bathroom, and it gets flushed out by everything else just to make sure I've heard that that's the best way to do it. We're gonna kind of cram everything in this corner. That way over here where the utilities are, we're gonna have our uh, pressure tank, our water heater for the in-floor heat, and our domestic hot water. Um, and we're actually planning on feeding the house from here for water. So our well, it'll come into here first and then it will just pump one line out so that we save room in the house for the uh, mechanical room. So I got the standard uh, distances. So for the shower, before you pour the concrete, you just give yourself a little box. I'm going to give it a little bit extra. That way you can move your P-trap and get it exactly where the shower is because every shower is a little bit different. So I don't have any paint. I'm just going to drive some stakes in. Um, this is where I determine the center of the shower. Is going to be. As you can see, that's why we have that machine because I don't want to hand dig all of these trenches in this soil. The stuff we put down locked down like crazy, and what's underneath it's rock hard clay. Um, so we have the tub, and then we have a 24 inch vanity. So the center of that. And then code is 15 inches for a toilet. Well, I'm gonna go 20 because nobody likes 
being on the toilet, touching the wall, and the vanity. So, I'm gonna give a little bit extra. All right, so these three, as you saw in the diagram, we're gonna all connect. They're gonna come out to one drain line here and then exit out to the septic tank over there. Then we're gonna have two camper clean outs. So we have options on either side of the barn. So there'll be one coming from over there, one coming across here. Those will meet up at the four inch and head on out. So I'm gonna get a few more lines staked out. And then we're gonna start digging the trenches. Okay. Because people will like you a lot more than they like me. Am I recording? What? Am I recording? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we have all the ends of our... No, I can't do this. <laughs> I'm not doing this. That was perfect. <laughs> I, I, I can't. That was perfect. I'm not doing this. You're the worst. Alrighty, guys. So we didn't have any chalk. Sorry, we didn't have any spray paint, but we did have chalk. So as long as the dogs stay out of it, it'll uh, work pretty good. We have the each fitting marked with these stakes. So I'm just gonna have her pull them as I dig. Um, so this kind of is the layout of the plumbing that I was describing. We tried to uh, do as many 45s as possible. This is going to be a double 45. That way we avoid any 90s. So it should flow much better. So we're gonna start digging. I didn't have my laser with me, but I'm just going to over dig and then we can put some dirt under the pipes to get the correct pitch and then backfill those so that it does not move underneath our slab. So I'm gonna get digging uh, with this machine. It doesn't take very long. So we'll see you guys in about 30 seconds. All right, guys, welcome back. Today's plumbing day. We're gonna get the uh, all the fittings connected and glued up. So there's not too much to plumbing other than the most important. 
Boys, can I can I talk for a second? The most important part is having pitch so everything runs downhill. So for these waist lines, we need a quarter inch per foot. So every four feet goes up one inch. So from our outlet to the furthest point, which is this RV uh, dump spot is 11 inches. So we measured with the laser. Luckily I got, luckily I got lucky with the mini in digging the correct height. So I don't have to do too much shoveling with the exception of all this loose fill that the dogs decided to put in the trenches, but it'll be a lot easier than the clay. So we're going to start back here and work our way. Cause this is the most complicated pitch. The bathroom's a short little run and this other camper cleanup's a short run. So it shouldn't be an issue once we get to that point. So we're going to get started. Alrighty, good morning guys. I just uh, finished inflating the system. All I hear is crickets. I don't hear any uh, any leaks. So we're gonna pray that it holds for the inspector. Uh, it's only five PSI, but you can see the, uh, the bulb here is pretty inflated. So five PSI over this whole system. That's a lot of air that was put into this. So you should be here anywhere between 11 and 3 so this needs to hold for about six hours so we'll come back later today and hopefully we pass then we can backfill and get the slab rolling we uh we got our plumbing inspection but they don't give out any phone numbers because they don't want you calling the inspector so they don't let you know whether you pass or failed until you come to your job box and take a look. <laughs> That's what we like to see right there. Beautiful morning. I don't know if this captures it, but this is probably the most beautiful sunrise we've had here yet. It's gonna be nice. Uh, we're gonna have a front little porch off the barn. We're gonna have a front porch off the house. And that'll, uh, that'll be nice waking up to every morning. It's a good view. 
left him a little note. I labeled all of our plumbing, so looks like he was happy with everything. And uh, yeah, hopefully after work today, I'll be able to backfill these and uh, compact as we go because we excavated all these trenches down and we don't want any uh, weak spots in our concrete. So we're gonna put a little dirt, compact, put a little dirt right here. I didn't show this in the other video, but we have two floor drains in the barn. They're gonna go out to daylight and I'm gonna have my downspouts for my gutters come down here and tie in and all go to daylight. Today's a huge day for us. We got uh, more millings coming for the driveway should be uh, quite a few so we can get a better driveway around this barn for the work trucks. And we got foam delivered. That's why I'm here right now for the in-floor heat. So there'll be foam sheets down throughout the whole barn. That way we can staple the in-floor heat uh, radiant tubing into that. And actually I hear a truck right now.